Welcome back to Outdoor Adventure Training. My name is Mikey Bell, and we're gonna dive into another follow along ski workout today. It's the waist deep leg workout. If you think you're ready for waist deep days this coming winter, you are not until you complete this challenging intermediate workout. We're definitely phasing up into more strength endurance here, a lot of plyometrics and just a lot of repetition. It's gonna be about 37, 38 minutes long. I'm not gonna talk a whole lot more. If you want more workouts like these delivered directly to your smartphone, check out our powder prep program. I'll leave a link in the description, but let's get right into the workout. We'll open the Outdoor Adventure Training app. We're officially in the blue phase of the powder prep program, super exciting. As you can see, as usually have our warm up. we have some plyometrics, and then two different circuits, three rounds each. One is lunge focused. One is more squat focused. This is going to be a leg burner and I'm not going to lie. My legs are already sore from just a week of filming YouTube videos, running and my own personal workouts as well. So for the dynamic warm up, just 40 seconds of ankle rolls. I know it might not seem like much, but a few things. One, you're balancing on a leg, which is good. And then we're just getting the range of motion going with the ankle. About halfway, let's switch other direction. This is only 40 seconds for both ankles, so make sure you're switching sides. If you want more time to do these, pause the video or Hang do in them there. before you hop on one of these workouts in the future. But just slowly More warming things up three, here. Two, one. Knee circle. Dive into knee Looking circles then. next. These are great. So we're just really tracing big circles with the knee. My hands aren't doing anything. They're just placed here. You don't need your hands there at all. It's just kind of a nice place to put them. So we'll go 20 seconds one direction, 20 seconds the other. But I'm really trying to push the hips out. That really helps get into the glutes, which mine are a little sore, <laughs> not going to lie. 10 seconds left. Hang in there. Went for a nice run yesterday, got some bird in. Getting back in the swing of things since getting back from You're Indonesia. In three, two, Feeling good, one. man. Walking lunge and twist. Hey, walking lunge and twist. So I'm lunging and then twisting the opposite direction. Really, you could twist either way, it doesn't matter. The idea though is we're getting into this lunge and then further opening up those hip flexors with just a little bit of a twist. A lot of lunges in today's workout. because lunges are one of the most effective ski exercises, I believe. Ten they really left. tax the Hang quadriceps, open up those hip flexors, a lot of glute activation as well, You're done. and balance. Three, two, one. Butt kick. For 40 okay, seconds. butt kicks, getting the cardio going already. We got a big temperature shift here in Ashland, Oregon. The other day it was like 93 of a high, and last night it went down to 43. So cold nights on the horizon, fall is just a few days away, and there's some precip in the forecast. Looks like snow levels maybe still Ten seconds left. a little too there. high, but it's good news. Storm door is open. You're done in three, two, a few one. more seconds. Nice, walking quads, so kind of a slower version of the butt kick. Yeah, my quads, a little sore <laughs> after the corduroy quads workout. It's been a lot of filming, getting back in the lab. I by no means recommend doing three days in a row of leg workouts, but Ten that's the life. Left. Hang in there. I'm a trainer. I love my job. Sometimes it's hard. Three, two, <laughs> Physically one. and mentally, side emotionally. Lunges. Side lunges. Seconds. So just stepping out to the side. I like to get this front heel aligned with that back toe. Sinking it down. Over to the other side. Really loving these workouts. Wearing my Path Projects gear. I love their logo too. Like brands always want to put like a big honking logo on their gear. Path Projects is just a cool looking arrow. I'll leave a link 
to their site in the description. Left. Really right good stuff. There. Super, super high quality, really functional. Great for running, workouts, three, hiking. Two, one. Side shuffles. Skiing, I'm not sure yet. Well, we're gonna find out though. Side shuffles, okay. So all I'm doing, I've done these before on this channel, but just staying low, and instead of rocking on the transition, I'm trying to stay low and drive off that leg, okay? If you have more room to work with, go for 20 or 30 yards in one direction, and then just come back the other way. If you got an even tighter space, like even just going like this, we're just trying to get some lateral motion, Hang in there. get the glutes warmed up, get the core warmed up, get the lungs warmed up. In three, two, one. Inchworm. Okay, For inchworm, seconds. one of my favorites. Legs straight, if you can't get to the floor, feel free to bend your knees, walking it out to a plank position. And then on the toes, keeping the knees locked, or shouldn't say locked, micro bend, <laughs> but not bent. You're half done. Go back the other way. Got about 20 seconds left. Hopefully you're finding value in these warmups. So many people just start their workouts cold. Would even recommend extend these warmups if you want, Hang in there. or go for a five, 10 minute jog before even getting into the warmup, you're done. or in riding three, a stationary two, bike, treadmill, elliptical, Four whatever seconds. it is. But the more you can warm up, the better, honestly. Okay, just gonna turn up the timer volume a little bit so I can hear it. <laughs> it's easy for you all, it's live on the screen. If you have any feedback on how you want these videos to go, I think it's pretty cool having that timer there and countdown and the beeps and the whole bit, but love feedback on all that. Okay, so single leg bounds. We're really good into plyometrics here. This is still stability plyometrics, bounds. so it's not fast. We'll get there on the next round. So all I'm gonna do is be jumping on one leg and then focusing on a really stable landing, okay? Just the right leg to start for 40 seconds. So I'm doing loading, popping, absorbing, coming out. And you can flip around. I'm gonna try to stay on this leg for the whole set. So again, load, pop, absorb, balance. If you lose your balance, that's totally okay. I'll do two in a row on this side. So load, pop, absorb, get stable. Stand up, load, pop, absorb. Nice, get a couple Ten more going back. Hang in load, there. pop, absorb. You're done. We're going right away into Two, the next leg. One. Remember, leg all down. the same components For apply. We're keeping the knee externally rotated, really trying to keep the glutes engaged here. If you're struggling with maintaining your balance, maybe take a smaller jump. Right, so if you're kind of losing it, it's okay to just. Ideally though, we are trying to recruit a little bit of power. Pop, absorb and load. 10 seconds Load and absorb. In there. Load, pop. As you can see, you're done. or hopefully three, you can see how these two, would be one. beneficial rest. for ski training. For 20 seconds. Short 20 second rest. This is gonna get the heart rate up. <laughs> We're gonna go laterally now, okay? Lateral single leg bound. So I'm gonna go back to the right leg. My toe is gonna to face you the whole time. I'm gonna work side to side, all right? Pay attention to the knee. Two, it's gonna to wanna to cave in lateral on the landing. Leg bound. So load, For pop, seconds. balance. Assess your landing position. Look at your knee. And if it's out of whack, correct it, okay? Going back the other way. I always find that side harder, kind of going medially, going laterally. I'm not perfect. Back the other way. This is building on some of our other plyometric Hang in there. workouts in the Powder Pet program. So if these feel too hard, it's because we're, we're advancing quickly three, through the program two, and on one. YouTube. Lateral single leg bound. Switch to the other leg. 40 seconds. But if you need some more support, hit me up. 
check out the program. It's super affordable for just three months. And all this stuff you will become very proficient with. <sighs> Notice I'm taking the time in between reps. The focus is not necessarily strength endurance, although it is. We <laughs> seconds left. Hang really there. focusing on technique and form. Super great for ski training. You're done in three, two, one. Okay, rest. another short 20 second rest. 20 seconds. This one's gonna be the most difficult of the three. And then we're done with these. It's a multi-planar bound, multi okay? Single leg Which means bound. I'm gonna start facing one direction, turn 90 degrees in the air, face a different direction. We'll, we'll start with the right leg. Three, okay, two, so I'm facing you, I'm gonna turn to the left. Leg bound. So load, pop, stable landing, okay? Back to center, this time I'm gonna turn to the right. So load, pop, whoop. <laughs> Cheated there, gotta work on that one. Back the other way, load, pop. Nice, other way. There we go. And you could do this in any order. If you got a big area, like go in a square left. and then go back the other way. <laughs> Notice I'm kind of twisting in the air. I could even We're go this way. In three, two, one. <laughs> that one's trickier for found. sure. Okay, for turning seconds. to the right with the left leg. Load, pop. Nice. Go the other way. You will most likely have one leg that's more stable than the other. If you don't already know, you'll figure it out quickly <laughs> in this exercise. Feeling left. more stable on the left leg. Or so I thought. In three, <laughs> one more. Two, one. Rest. Nice. For 40 seconds. Okay. 40 seconds rest to get some water. We got weighted walking lunges. I didn't mention this earlier. That's okay. <laughs> you don't need weight, but adding some kind of a weight for this workout is going to be great. So I'm going to be using some dumbbells a kettlebell, a medicine ball, whatever you have. Load a backpack up with a bag of quinoa. Whoops, oh, there's the dumbbells I was talking about. <laughs> Let's get them going. Walking lunges. Just gonna start off with 20 pound dumbbells. We're doing weighted we'll walking lunges three, for two, 60 seconds, one. okay? Weighted so with the weight, lunges. really maintain your posture. Seconds. Striding out, dropping that back knee down. Pushing off the front leg. If this is your first video that you're watching with us, highly recommend going back to the groomer glutes video and dial in your lunge technique. Even if you're like, oh, I got this, bro. Nah, you probably don't, bro. Check it out. You're half done. I'm definitely gonna be talking less in this video. One, I'm not a huge fan of talking a lot. Two, it's gonna get freaking hard. <laughs> Again, really keeping that posture up, dropping that back Ten knee down. Left. In there. Driving off the front heel, right? Not just pushing off the back leg. In three, two, one, rest. Okay. For 20 seconds. Set those down. Lunge jumps. We got nice. 20 second rest. Lunge jumps. These lunge jumps, man, I haven't done lunge jumps in a minute. This could be ugly. But essentially, lunging, and then I'm gonna be jumping, switching to the other leg. Okay, so I'll show you some variations. Easy to more difficult. So load, right, I'm dropping down, popping up, switching legs, okay? Hands on the hip is great. If that's too much, feel free to, you know, take it slow. You can come up, Go into your lunge, come up, go into your lunge, but ideally we're switching sides, okay? You could always switch up high, right? Kind of not gonna get the same benefit. We're going for strength endurance here, team. Nobody said training for an epic winner was gonna be easy. <sighs> Staying pretty much stationary. If you want to, you can pump the arms. So opposite arm, opposite leg. 
10 seconds left. Hang in there. Notice my knee on most reps. <laughs> Hopefully, is Your tapping the ground. Three, two, it's kind of what one, we're looking for. Rest. Just that for quick tap. Seconds. Make sure you're getting enough range of motion. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> okay, a little longer rest after the lunge jumps. Give yourself a chance to recover with the cardio. And then we're doing weighted isometric loading, which again, if you're not super keen on or queued up to, groomer glutes workout has it in there. But essentially I'm gonna be doing balancing on one leg, holding the weight, keeping a little bend in the hip and the knee, or rather a lot of bend. Okay, so just right here, 30 seconds. It might seem easy at first, but by <laughs> second 20 or so, should start to burn a lot of neuromuscular recruitment. So essentially both of these circuits, it's a strength exercise, plyometric there. exercise, and an isometric exercise, which I think very well encapsulates You're done in what three, skiing is. Two, we're gonna one. switch legs right away, leg no load. rest, For 30 and then seconds. we're gonna get a nice, <laughs> well-deserved 60 second rest. Before we repeat the circuit, good chance to recover, active recovery. Try to breathe through the nose. Good loaded spine, bend those left. knees. Hang in there. Bend the hips, squeeze the glutes. You're done in three, two, one. Rest. Nice work. Okay. 40 seconds. You can set the weight down. You certainly don't need weight for that one. I lied, it's not a 60 second rest. <laughs> Sorry, whoever designed this workout is kind of an asshole. Okay, weighted walking lunges. Again, you can hold a medicine ball, you can hold a kettlebell, you can hold one dumbbell. I'm gonna phase up. I'm gonna increase the weight Get ready. by Next five pounds. Weighted walking lunges. Always pick your weights up with a flat back. We'll start okay, walking three, lunges two, for a one. minute. Weighted Chest up, shoulders lunges. back. For 60 Good seconds. stride length, drop that knee down. <sighs> Pushing off front leg. <sighs> Switching directions again. If you have the means to keep going, you got a long hallway at your house or you're doing this at a gym, freaking go for it, man. I don't love turning around. <laughs> Inversely, if you don't have a lot of room, you can do one, two. If you're really creative, you can do one, two going back. Reverse walking lunges are another beast though. <laughs> I'm not gonna dive into the weeds of that in this video. Remember, I said I wasn't gonna talk as much. 10 seconds left, hang in there. Gotta stay true to my word. I'm gonna get one more in You're here. Done in three, two, one. Rest for nice. Short rest. Lunge jumps. Everybody loves lunge jumps. <laughs> lunge jumps. Trainers don't have to like their workouts either. I do love this workout. I shouldn't say that, but lunge jumps. We'll start in Feeling three, hard today. Two, okay. One. 60 seconds. Lunge jumps. Do your best. Bio. That's for all you can do. Seconds. If this is really excruciating, you can decrease the range of motion. You're still getting plyometrics and balance in. But, <laughs> again, also, I just noticed with my front foot, try not to just land on your toe, trying to get that whole foot planted on the ground. Doesn't really matter how fast you're going. Of course, <laughs> faster is better, but do what's appropriate for you and where you're at today. 10 seconds left, hang in there. You're done in three, two, one. Rest Woo! for 40 seconds. Burners, baby. Recover. 
I never, ever recommend sitting down. Always stand up, always walk around. Don't absorb the universal sign of defeat. Keep your hands up. Get ready. Next up, weighted isometric single Breathing. leg load. Grab your weight. We'll start in weighted three, isometric two, load, one. baby. Weighted isometric I'll go right leg first again. Oh yeah, seconds. the weight's heavier. I think a huge part of fitness is your ability to recover. How quickly can you bring the heart rate down? Which can only happen through controlled breathing. 10 seconds left, hang in there. You're done in three, two, one. Weighted right away to the other leg. leg load. For 30 seconds. Hopefully this feels like a bit of relief after the lunge jumps. I know for me it does. <laughs> No shame in admitting that. Bend that knee, bend that hip. Chest up. 10 seconds left. Hang in there. Almost there, gang. And then we got a nice 40 second rest. You're done in three, two, one. Rest. Woo! Nice work. 40 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and once again phase up with the weight. I'm just gonna get this set up for the next round so I don't have to think about it. Enjoy the rest of my rest. <sighs> Final round of this, but not of yeah, the workout. Right. Next up, We're about halfway lunches. done through the entire workout. Okay, let's grab those weights. We'll start in three, two, one. Walking lunges, Weighted I'll start on this side lunges. this time. For 60 seconds. I'm gonna take a step back even if I'm maybe out of the frame. It's amazing what that wide angle lens picks up. Definitely feeling the increased weight. And you certainly don't need to increase the weight every round. But if you can, I would encourage you to try we're oftentimes stronger than we think. And that extra weight really does help to kind of replicate that extra force you're gonna get. Not just gravity, but your weight, all your ski gear, mashing big nasty moguls, whatever kind of skiing you like to do. In three, two, one. For 20 seconds. Those weights certainly help. Okay. Final round of lunge the dreaded jumps. lunge Final. jump. Maybe you're like, dude, I love the lunge jumps. You're weak. Great. We'll start in three, I'm glad you're two, enjoying them. One. Lunge Here we jumps. go. Final Final. Round. For 60 seconds. Legs are feeling it. Whew, quick break. Finish off the set strong. Come on. Let's get it. No excuses here. It's only September, but winter's coming quick. Ten seconds left. Hang in there, team. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh. For 40, Woo. Seconds. 40 seconds. Then we got the weighted load. I'm grateful for the slightly longer rest <laughs> between the load. <clears throat> Good work getting that done. I wish we could say we were done with plyometrics, but we're not. 
We got squat jumps in the next round. Get ready. Next up, weighted ice Which maybe are single leg load. Slightly less worse than lunge jumps, but we'll get there. In three, After two, lunge jumps, maybe one. not. Weighted isometric okay. single leg load. Ankle, knee, seconds. hip, all bent. Core, spine, neutral and engaged. <sighs> Merino wool might have been a bad choice today. But I do love it. Ten seconds left. Hang I in there. 62 degrees in the garage would be cold enough, but I'm gonna have to lower my You're done. threshold three, there. Two, one. Weighted kind of isometric like single leg load. 40 degrees. Three seconds. I know better. Get low here. You're only cheating yourself if you stay up high. Get down there. Same way you should be skiing, right? Bend those knees and hips. 10 seconds left. Hang in there. We got a nice rest before goblet squats. The next circuit. You're done in three, two, one. Rest. Whew, nice job. Seconds. You're likely done with dumbbells if you have them. Goblet squats the first round. I'm gonna use this 25 pound medicine ball. Use a ball, use a kettlebell. You can hold a dumbbell just fine. The goal though is we're holding something out in front of our chest and that helps create core engagement, okay? Really great tool. It doesn't need to be heavy. We'll see if I get to that 50 pound kettlebell or not. Okay, grab that weight with a flat back. 60 seconds, chest up. Focus on your technique. Really keep the chest up. Remember the weight needs to be more so in the heels. Sometimes I actually do love doing variation of the goblet squat. Just the weight in one hand. I think it does a lot for core engagement and that counter rotation, which if you're a skier, hopefully is a term familiar with you, to you. <laughs> Get those glutes activated. Ten seconds left. <clears throat> Hang in there. You're done. In three, <sighs> two, one. Rest. Nice work. For Twenty seconds. Whoo! Twenty second rest. Squat jumps for strength endurance. Okay, which means <laughs> squat jumps. Strength We're gonna try endurance. not to pause. Plyo. Could happen though. I'm not gonna lie. Pause. But don't pause. Okay, so all we're doing is loading back with the hands, just like in the bound, and exploding up. And then my goal is to absorb that landing with another squat, okay? So real time, loading, exploding. Getting that repetition, okay? You don't necessarily need to jump as high as you possibly can. Woo! Sweating. <laughs> Load and pop, okay? And if, if this is really difficult, you can load, pop, absorb, stand up. Load, pop, absorb, stand up. I'm good with that. But 20 seconds, let's get it, team. And you also, if you're a savage, don't need to swing your arms. Chest up, Ten knees out. Left. Hang in there. <sighs> Those jumps are getting smaller and smaller. Three, two, one. Oh. For 20 Woo. You guys are gonna hate me for this one. Wall sit next. Wall sit. Right into it though. Whew. Hopefully those feel good. We'll start in three, Get the cardio two, up. One. I'm gonna sits. talk to you for 60 seconds. for 60 seconds. Not that I don't love the present moment but I wanna share something very important. Cardiovascular training is an essential cornerstone in any great training program. I'm kidding. Well, no, I'm not kidding. I'm very serious. I'm kidding in that voice. A lot of questions about cardiovascular training. Obviously, this is getting anaerobic. 
If you're breathing hard, you're working anaerobically without oxygen, higher heart rate zones. The bulk of your cardiovascular training, preparing for ski season, any endurance sport, which skiing I believe is an endurance sport, if you're gonna be skiing all day, bulk of your training needs to be aerobic. Slow, stay low, don't come up. 10, Ten seconds, seconds left, hang in there. Low, slow, steady state, heart rate zones one and two. You're done. It's all Three, programmed. Two, one. And the powder prep. Yes. We are. For 40 seconds. That was my spiel. If you got more questions, hit me up. What do you guys think? Heavier on the goblets? Or lighter on the goblets? Heavier on the squat jumps? Heavier in the sense of more reps? How about both? Get ready. Next so, up, if you are gonna use squats. a kettlebell, generally with goblets, hold it upside down. We'll start so the handle's three, kind of between the wrists. Two, one. See, I, this squats. is a 50 pounder. For Had this sucker for a long time. Good friend of mine and chiropractor, Joe Basad, gifted it to me when he moved back east. Ooh. Must have been like almost 10 years ago now. And who knows how long who he had it for. Ooh. That's the history You're high Ooh, of my kettlebell. <sighs> Lots more core engagement with the heavier weight. Seconds left. Hang in there. You're done. One more. Three, two, one. Rest. Nice work. For 20 seconds. Woo! Squat jumps. Squat jumps. Strength endurance. Fly. Okay. Here we go. Legs are feeling it. We'll Hopefully yours are too. Two, one. Load Squat and jumps. pop, baby. Let's Strength go. Endurance. Fly off. For 60 seconds. Sometimes the first few reps after the heavier kettlebell goblet squats feel pretty good. One thing I see far too often on the squat jump is this, right? You're going to feel that in your lower back. Save that from when the snow's firm. Good posture, core engaged. Even if you have to decrease. Your range of motion. Oh man, I don't know. You think these are easier than lunge jumps? Harder or the same? Leave a comment. Ten seconds left. <sighs> in there. And just know that whichever one you pick, you're gonna see more of. You're done in three, two, one. Oh. Rest. Whoo! 20 seconds. Feeling it in the legs. <laughs> Which I guess is the whole point. Wall sit. Wall sit. I'm not gonna talk this time. I promise. I really don't we'll start love talking. In three, two, one. Wall Anybody sit. that knows me well 60 seconds. would testify. Breathe. Oh yeah, no talking. You're half done. Seconds left. Hang in there. You're done in three, two, one. Rest for 40 seconds. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> 
final round team. Never thought I would say it. These workouts are getting a little bit longer. In the powder prep program, of course it's periodized, meaning we go through different phases of training. It gets progressively more difficult. You get each workout twice, back to back weeks. And the second week, Next it's slightly up, longer. <laughs> You're welcome. But I mean slightly by 10 we'll to 15%. Three, two, one. I'm talking goblet goblets. squats. Chest up, facing the camera, so I can hold myself accountable for great form. So trying to keep the knees in line with the second and third toe the best you can. Clean rep, let's go. You're done in three, two, one, <sighs> rest. Nice job. For 20 seconds. Two minutes. That's all we need from you. Two minutes. Never Smart again. Jumps. Strength in Wearing merino wool. Trial. Unless it's like Arctic no outside. Three, two, Which doesn't happen because I'm in Oregon. Squat jumps. Strength Load and pop, baby. Woohoo! For 60 seconds. <sighs> That was 15, 15 drops of sweat that is, try to get a few more here. Soft landings. Ah, bad rep. Got on the toes. Finish strong. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds left. Hang in there. You're done in three, two, one. Rest. Boy. For twenty seconds. One more. 60 seconds of your time well, sit. is all we need to be that much better of a skier. And if you're a snowboarder too, I don't discriminate. We'll start in three, all those two, skiers are better. Well, sit. I'm kidding. For 60 seconds. Honestly, Last exercise. a lot of my best friends are snowboarders. The yin and the yang. That's what you need in life, a little balance. Stay low. Try to be at a 90. Squeeze those glutes. And quads. You're half Almost done. Almost done, gang. left till the end. You can do this. Get it, get it, get it. You're done in three, two, one. Nice Woo! work. You crushed it. See Hell yeah, tomorrow. team. You freaking crushed it. Whew, great job. <laughs> Hopefully the legs are feeling it. By it, I mean more stable, stronger, little burn. That's good. That's what we're looking for in the blue square phase of our training which is really just strength endurance training. Excellent way to prepare for ski season. Hopefully that workout wasn't too terribly difficult for you. However, probably was pretty hard. Maybe about a seven for me. Definitely feeling the fire in the legs. I love it. Once again, if you want more of this to do at your own time at home from the convenience of your phone, 
please check out the powder prep program. It will pay dividends this winter and keep praying for snow. And we'll see you next time right here at Outdoor Adventure Training.